Welcome back to TBRD. We've got a super exciting vlog this week. We're going to be announcing our first giveaway winner, that external microphone adapter. So that is coming up here in just a little bit. And as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, super exciting week around here. There is a new motorcycle out in the garage and we're going to get to that in just a little bit. We're going to take a a look at that uh, today and probably also do a more detailed review next week and maybe even in the third week some more content with this new motorcycle. So I'm super excited to share that with you all. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'd ask that you consider clicking that notification bell and the subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm so appreciative of all the support that you all have given me, and that's uh, why we're doing this little giveaway today. So let's turn our attention to that. Real high tech here on TBRD. Uh, what we did was I wrote down all of the people from the comments and numbered them who had entered a lot of comments on the last video, uh, 17 of which who were interested uh, in winning the external microphone adapter for uh, the camera, for, for the GoPro. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And All right, so without further ado, we are going to go ahead and give our wheel a spin. We've put numbers 1 through 17 on the wheel. We're going to match that number to the names of the folks who were interested in winning the external microphone adapter for their GoPro uh, and left a comment on last week's video. So let's go ahead. All right, round and round it goes. On a number, it'll stop and let us know. All right, that number was number 3. Number 3. So we're going to go ahead. Pull up our card and see who was number three. Uh, let's see, number three, ah uh, yes, the blue bike and Doyles. You take a look there, number three. All right, congratulations, blue bike and Doyle. Awesome guy, couldn't go to a better person, super excited. If you're new to this channel and you haven't checked out blue bike and Doyle, give it a look. Now what we're gonna do is go unveil the new motorcycle. I'm super excited for this, so stick with me. We'll be uh, right back as soon as we are outside. All right, so we are outside now, and we are gonna unveil this new motorcycle in just a minute. This may come as a surprise to you all who are not new to the channel because I've not said anything about a new motorcycle. And truth be told, kind of a surprise to me. We're gonna call it a Christmas miracle. Uh, like many of you, uh, I'm constantly looking at motorcycles, whether that's online, in magazines, or certainly on Facebook Marketplace and in other, uh, other different classifieds, uh, just because I find it interesting to see what's out there. And I came across one that was just too good a deal to pass up, and it was too close to my house. More on that later. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and unveil uh, what I'm calling a Christmas miracle. So we're going to take a look at this bike, uh, and then we'll have more on it. Uh, in the following week where I give it a detailed review. So let's take a look. All right, behind this door in three, two, one. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. A brand new to us 2019 Honda CB650. 50R. This bike is immaculate. It is slightly used. It came with a total of 848 miles on the odometer. And as I said, it was just too good a deal to pass up. I love everything about this bike as far as the styling goes. It is gorgeous. I really feel like Honda thought of just about everything. I love this gold finish on the engine. It's even on top of the cylinder heads there and it's color match to the wheels. Yeah, just a beautiful bike. Uh, if you're familiar uh, with the Honda CB series, the CB300 uh, punches way above its weight class. Just an awesome, awesome little machine. And they've got its, uh, its bigger brother, uh, the 1000. And this guy's kind of their middleweight, their uh, 650R. It's got a 649cc displacement engine. One of the styling cues I absolutely love about it is this waterfall exhaust. It's four into one, and if you're familiar at all with the Honda Heritage, that's kind of paying homage to its ancestor, the uh, CB400 back from 1975. That's where the styling cues came from. I just love the way that they styled this bike. It's got real tasteful lines, real great look. Beautiful lines, very tastefully done. It comes with a full, uh, full LED lighting. So let's take a look at that. This headlight. 
there. I love that. What a cool looking headlight. Beautiful. Honda really uh, got the keys right in terms of that style. Let's take a look at the other side of this. Just a gorgeous looking bike. And like I said, too good a deal to pass up. We'll have more on all the technical specifications. I'm gonna do a real detailed uh, ride review of it uh, next week on the vlog. But let's go ahead, let's do a cold startup of it. Let's get down there and give it a listen. You ready? Sounds good, sounds good. Don't wanna rev it too hard there on a cold start. So let me tell you a little bit more about how this machine ended up in my garage. I actually filmed uh, some footage from the day I went up and uh, did the transaction and rode it home. So let's, uh, let's head out to the road and hear about that. All right, so it's time for me to come clean. We've got this beautiful new 2019 650R that is in my garage, but it doesn't actually belong to me. But it is staying in the family. If you go back to my ride in Virginia, you'll remember I was talking about my dad who had a Honda Grom and was riding around on a Yamaha FZ6. I think it was an 05, an 05 or an 06 Yamaha FZ6. And he's been interested in upgrading his bike for some time. And my brother and I had encouraged him to take a look at something with ABS. I don't know where he's going. It's somewhere. And my dad had really liked the looks of this Honda 650R. And he's had his eye on it for some time. And we just haven't been able to find one. And he came up for Christmas. And I hopped on the old book of faces and Facebook marketplace and lo and behold not more than 10 miles from my house was this beautiful unit which had a grand total of 848 miles on the odometer brand new basically bone stock bone stock bike looks as good to me as it did when it came off the showroom floor at a price that was entirely too good to pass up. The only thing that's been done to this bike is it was professionally ceramic coated and it comes with a lifetime ceramic coating warranty. I just gotta take it back to the shop where it came from. So yeah, that was too good to pass up. I gotta say, I really like this little bike. I mean, first impressions. First of all, uh, I should note, it is absolutely freezing out this morning. It's about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And unlike my BMW S1000XR, not a lot of wind protection on this little guy. But man, what a great little bike. It is very nimble, very flickable. I like that. I like the color. I really like the gold wheels. I just think it's gonna be an excellent machine for my dad. I like the dash, although I will say uh, initial, first impression, initial first impressions, hard criticism if I'm looking at the dash. It's a little hard to see. Uh, but I also am used to my big, huge color TFT, so I'm not sure that's a real fair, real fair assessment. Uh, but it's a little light. And, and truth be told, I haven't played around with this at all, so I'm not sure if you can adjust the uh, contrast on the screen or not. That's something obviously we'll have to take a look at. But overall, just a great bike. This one uh, is a 2019, as I said. Comes equipped with the ABS package, which we had to pay. Well, we didn't have to pay for it because it was used. Uh, but the original owner had to pay a little bit for that. I think it was about a $300 option. Uh, also, has traction control you can turn on and off. But the ABS itself, you cannot turn on and off, which is fine. I don't think you need to. Eh, it sounds great. Oh yeah. Nice little bike. Let's get on it. Woo! That's fun, man. Yeah. 
I'm not sure of the specs on this specifically. I think it's uh, quoted at something like 93 horsepower. Uh, really nice, linear, smooth power delivery. I love the sound of this bike. It sounds fantastic, just with the that inline four sound. That inline four cylinder engine really is Honda's, uh, Honda's sweet spot. They do it well, they do it right. On this particular bike, uh, they've stroked it out a little bit. It's a 649cc displacement. Other than it, uh, it's an inline four cylinder, uh, 16 valves, dual overhead, I believe. Uh, not the same engine that is in their CBR 600 RR. Uh, quite different if you get into the details of that. But overall, just a, a really nice package. I, I really like it. I like the looks of this bike. I think it's an absolutely perfect machine for my old man. I think he's going to enjoy many, many years on this machine. And as I said, it's, it's a real nice upgrade from that 05 FC6 that he was riding. The, uh, the ABS alone is, is worth it. I'm happy that he has that. It's just kind of an extra variable of protection while well, he is out riding with my brother down in Virginia and I'm looking forward to getting down to Virginia again so we can all go out with this new machine once he gets everything transferred and titled over down in Virginia. We are coming across the Susquehanna River southbound on I-95. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you're a returning customer to my channel and you look to the left there, you probably can't see it, but there's a couple more bridges. The Hayden Bridge is over there. It's the usual morning commute where we catch those beautiful sunrises. All right, I'll have more on this machine at a later date and time. But what a great, great surprise for my, for my dad. Really happy we were able to find this bike and get it home. So as I like to say, until next time, keep the throttle back, the rubber down, Enjoy the ride!